Red. Green. Purple. Rain. Blue. Sound the alarm. Hey everyone. I bet you're probably wondering how I did that. This video is going to be a tutorial on something I've wanted to do for quite some time, which is control my Corsair RGB lighting with something other than clicking in the IQ software or pressing a button on my stream deck. Now, so we don't waste any more time, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to switch to my desktop here. The first thing we're going to want to do is download something from GitHub. And that is from Legion 2 here, the OpenQ service. There are lots of instructions on these pages and you can follow them along. So I'm going to go through this pretty quick. But essentially what you do is you go to the release page. I'm going to open that in a new tab and you download this OpenQ service zip. You're going to extract it to a folder. I chose my documents folder. I created a new folder in there called IQ underscore control. Whatever folder you use, just want to make sure you don't have any spaces in there. Um, you can name it pretty much whatever as long as you know where to find it and just don't have any spaces in any of the folders that you're using. So I did an underscore there between IQ and control. So I downloaded that, I put it in here, and once you extract it, you'll see that it's got this app settings, open queue service, and web config in there. Once you do that, you're good to go in that part. The next thing we're gonna download is this open queue CLI. Now this is what's gonna let us control the lights using a command line. So you go to the latest release, open in a new tab here, and we're, I did the Windows version. You just do whatever version you need. You're gonna download, you're gonna extract it, and it's going to look, I put it in my IQ control folder again, and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have a few files in there. Once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is make sure that your profile is all good and set up in IQ. So in IQ here, I've got, we're gonna use this blue profile. All this is is just a bunch of blue lights, okay? You'll see here on my PC, it's all blue. And in here, I've just got a lighting link that's just blue. You can use whatever color you want or whatever, whatever profile. Once you have it all good and set up the way you like, you're going to export the profile. You're going to select only lighting effects. Now all these instructions again are, are in GitHub. So go there if you kind of get lost, but only export the lighting effects. So you're going to go and go ahead and export this to whatever folder you like. So you can export it to the IQ control folder that you have or whatever you want to name this folder. That's totally fine. We're going to copy this and paste it somewhere else later. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is go to that IQ control folder or wherever you put the profile that you exported. You're going to go to new and you're going to create a new text document. Now in this, you're going to call it prior priorities priorities dot CFG. And that's just the file that needs to be there for IQ to work. So priorities dot CFG, these instructions are in GitHub. Might be unusual, you want to change it? Yes. Okay, then from here, you're going to edit and you're going to put in whatever profile or profiles that you want. These instructions again are on GitHub. I'm going to type blue just as it appears in, you can kind of see it right here. In IQ, blue equals and then a number. I'm just gonna put one because there's only one there. The number has to do with priorities on which one shows over the uh, any others, but you don't you shouldn't need to worry about that if you're just using one at a time. I'm gonna save that. Now these are good. Now the next thing that you're gonna want to do is copy these into a folder that we're going to create here. So copy and you're gonna go to your C folder or C drive, which is normally where Corsair puts their SDK data. So C drive, program data, Corsair, Q4, game SDK effects. And then you're gonna wanna create a new folder here called profiles. Now I already have that folder, so we're just gonna go in here and you're going to paste it in here. Now you'll see, I already have mine in here, priorities and blue, but you're gonna paste that in there. It's gonna ask you if you want to, let me do this. 
it'll ask you this question. You'll need to provide administrator permission. That's fine. Just continue. It's just copying those over and then you'll be good to go. Okay. So just make sure it's in this profiles folder. You create a new folder called profiles and then you put those in that folder. Once those are in that folder, you're going to want to go back to the open queue service and you're going to launch this open queue service exe. Now that's going to bring up a command window here. It should look like this. You will also see if we go back to IQ that it's going to have this symbol here. That means that the lighting is controlled by something else. You'll see here all the lighting's turned off. So I'm going to go back to this. This looks good. And all you do with this is just leave it and we're good to go. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is open a command prompt and this you just search command prompt in here or just select command prompt going to be a new command prompt and what we're going to do is type in the profile that we want to activate now ours was called blue let me copy this text i will copy this text and put it in the description below you just need to make sure that this directory here e users documents iq control whatever that is you're going to want to make sure it matches yours wherever you put the open queue cli profile okay ours in our case it's in documents iq control and uh, open Q CLI Windows 64K. So whatever that is. Now, if you copy this, you, you probably just need to change the drive and then the directory to your documents and you should be good. At the end of it, you're gonna wanna type or have profile activate blue. Now, if you named yours blue, then it should work. Whatever you named yours, you just have to have it match exactly. And when we hit enter here, it's gonna turn our lights blue. So that wasn't in IQ. It's through IQ, but it wasn't in IQ. It was in this command prompt window. Okay. The second and probably the most important command of all of them is going to be this next one. It's going to match almost exactly as above. Users documents, IQ control, open IQ CLI 64, open Q CLI. But instead of profile activate blue, it's going to be SDK deactivate dash all dash profiles. What this does is it turns off the lights and you'll need this if you want to deactivate the current one and change it to something else. So I do that and that's no longer blue. So you can go back and forth with the command line. You can go back to having it activate blue or uh, deactivate it, whatever you want to do. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do, how do I do it with my voice? You were doing it with your voice before. Okay, let me show you. The first thing you want to do is in this IQ control, you're going to need to create a text file, create a text file, and you just want to name it whatever you need to know. I'm going to name ours um, blue because that's what our profile's name. So blue.cmd. The file name extension might be unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. So now that's going to do this Windows command script file. Okay, from here, you're going to want to edit. And what we're going to do is put in that text that we had here. So copy, paste, file, save, paste that text that you use that lets you activate the lights into there, save it and close it. And now every time that we double click on this, it will activate our lights here. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other, but what I'm going to do is go into here, edit. I'm just going to copy the other text, control A, control V, and I'm going to save it as deactivate.cmd. And I'm just going to say all files, it changes to all files, save it. And we're going to go now. If we go to here and we double click that, it's going to turn off all our lights. So once you have those CMD or Windows command script files, then you can go to this streamer.bot. Now that's the exact website. This is a tool that you can use for a lot of other things, but this is what I'm using specifically for the voice controls. So you're going to just download here. Um, you can see I already downloaded it, download it, and then you're going to extract it to whatever folder you want. doesn't matter. And then you'll open it up. And when you open it, it should look like this. Probably it'll just come up kind of blank here. Okay. Um, let me open IQ behind it so it's not so distracting. 
So we've got uh, lots of things you can do, but the first thing you wanna do is go to your actions. I've already got a blue action in here, so let's create a different one, okay? So I close that, um, I'm back to IQ, IQ is no longer being controlled. We're going to use this rainbow wave uh, profile. You see it's kind of rainbow puke, whatever. Rainbow underscore wave. So I've already exported that. If I go to C, you're gonna wanna do the same steps we did earlier with blue. Um, you're going to want to go to C, Program Data, Corsair, Q4, Game SDK FX, and Profiles. Make sure it's in there. I'm going to make sure Rainbow Wave is in there, so we're good. Also, don't forget to update your Priorities file here, the text file we created, and add the profile that you're using to that with a number. And again, remember, you can't update this file or save this file in this folder you're gonna have to create it in the folder we originally created and then copy it and paste it into here due to permissions okay and then we're gonna want to do the same thing in our iq control and we're going to make sure it's activate activated in what we need so let's go to let me just go i've got some other here set up let's see I'm going to edit this blue one that I had before and I'm going to change activate blue. I'm going to change this to rainbow underscore wave. Okay. I'm going to save that, save as, and we're just going to name it rainbow underscore wave dot CMD. Change it to all files on the file type and save it. Now you notice here I have this start. Uh, forward slash min space and then the code and then the here the carrot ampersand and exit that's just so that when we run it it doesn't show up and go away it's just this just lets the command window run minimized so i can uh, share this code with you as well so you can kind of copy that if you want but it's pretty pretty simple there you can probably see see the code there i'll, I'll uh, share it down below in the description Okay, so we've got that Rainbow Wave CMD. We're going to go back into our streamer bot. And we're going to create an action. This one we're just going to, in our actions, you probably have nothing in there. I have a bunch already. I'm going to add. I'm going to name it Rainbow. Our, it's in the group RGB. You don't need a group or anything. And hit OK. Then here you're going to do add a sub action. Here you're going to select perform command. And what we're doing here is we're going to select that file that we just created, rainbowwave.cmd. Open that up, hit OK. And we should be good to activate it. Now, what I'd like to do with all of mine is create an action right before, perform command. And I like to grab my deactivate.cmd that we created. And that deactivate one, I like to have it go before so that any other profiles that were going on beforehand, they just get cleared out. And then it starts new with the rainbow wave, in this case, the rainbow wave. Okay. So that's going to be that action for rainbow. Now, the next thing we go to is go to voice control. You're going to go to settings. You're going to have it start listening if it's not already and select your microphone. And then the way you can test it is that you'll see here, it's been logging a bunch of my voice already. Um, it's logs your voice you can see that it's working so the next thing is you go to commands and this is where you put in your voice commands so i'm going to add a command i'm going to call it rainbow and the command is going to be rainbow um and just make sure that it's spelled correctly or whatever so that the text that comes out um you select an action and we're going to select our rainbow action here rainbow that's the one we just created hit okay now, every time that I say rainbow, that should be act that should activate and activate that same Now, it's not going to activate right now because we don't have it running. So let me go here and start. So you can see IQ is being controlled here. And we've got our first one, the, the IQ open queue service. And now that that's open, let me go, let me switch profiles here. Okay. So now that we have that open queue service open, we set up our CMD command file and everything. If I say rainbow, rainbow, 
then it will do that. Now, rainbow is probably like a, a harder word. Let me see what it said. It's probably a harder word for it to recognize, but that's how. So now I've set up all those actions and all those voice commands in here, and that's how I can go red. Red. Blue. Yellow. That's how I can control all those with my voice. You go feel free to test it out. Again, there's a ton of instructions in GitHub. So when you go to these pages, which I'm going to link below for Legion 2's uh, open queue service files here, make sure to read the documentation, especially on this open queue CLI. That's where you will see a lot of the examples and what you need to do to get this. So test it out. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I can make another video or answer them in the comments maybe. And uh, yeah, have fun with it. It's over 9,000.